I swear I tried to wear other kind of shirt, but it's too hot in here. <laughs> hey there, my name is Rene, and we all know that some words that are difficult to translate, sometimes because they have specific meanings that sometimes doesn't exist in the other language. There are so many words in English that are difficult to translate to Portuguese, and we have to like work around them and try to find a similar meaning. For instance, the word reckless or ruthless, they are difficult to translate exactly to Portuguese so we have to work around the same happens the other way around there are some words in Portuguese that are so difficult to translate to English so I decided to bring here five Brazilian Portuguese words that are difficult to translate to English the first one is eita this is uh, an exclamation interjection we use only to for exclamation purposes it doesn't have any special meaning so if something amazing happens you can say eita the second one is Zika. Yes, this word is a little bit tricky. It's like the Zika virus, but instead of a K, we use C. And Zika is a slang word, actually. So this word has a couple of different meanings. The first one can be like something very good for you. You can say, I'm Zika, and you mean like, I'm badass, or I rock, or I'm the best. When you manage to accomplish something difficult, or you can use it for someone else. You're Zika, man. You're Zika, girl. When someone else manages to do something difficult and the second meaning for Zika is when you want to complain about something bad happening let's say a friend of yours fails a very important exam and you can say that's Zika man like that's very bad man that sucks Zika can be something bad happening you know in Portuguese we say more Zika man. and the third meaning for Zika is when someone says something bad too like you are studying for a very difficult exam and someone says you won't pass man you will fail you can say in Portuguese sai zika it's something like bite your tongue man don't say that don't dare saying that again or something like that sai zika okay the third word is vish <laughs> this one is funny it comes from a very old exclamation people used to say in the biblical times virgin mary as time passed people would say only virgin and nowadays we say Vish. And that's an exclamation very similar to Eita. Although it originated from a biblical context, uh, Vish is a slang word. You can use it in some different ways as well, like when someone stumbles and falls down or something like that, or something bad happens to someone else. You can say Vish, Vish, it meaning it serves you right. <laughs> or you can use just as an eta, like an exclamation. Vish, oh my god, vish, what the... Or when you want to brag about something that you did or something that someone else did, you can say vish, like I passed an exam uh, with grade A. Vish, I'm the best, man. Vish, vish. You can even say vish, I'm Zika, man. Something like, look at me, I'm the best. The next one, the fourth word is shodo. This is very specific because you use shadow when you want to say uh, um, when you want to describe something you like very much. It can mean like my dear or my precious, something special. For example, I can say this shirt is my shodo. I like it very much. It's a special shirt to me. Not necessarily my favorite one, not necessarily the most important one, but different from the others. And you can use shadow with anything, with people, with objects, you know, with catchphrases or movies or anything. I can say, you are my shadow. I like you very much. You are very special to me. And actually, this word shadow comes from Africa. In Brazilian Portuguese, we have lots of words that come from Africa. And shadow is one of them. And last but not least, the fifth, fifth, word <laughs> is saudades. This one is a classic because saudades means like uh, when you miss something, when you miss someone or something, someplace. It's a very unique word. In English you can say you miss something, but it's different in Portuguese. For example, I can ask someone here in Brazil like, what do you feel? And that person will answer saudades. Uh, in English, there is no way you can use only one word to describe this feeling. In English, you would say like I'm sad I miss someone you know a phrase so this word is very unique and very beautiful saudades in Portuguese we say estou com saudades like I'm feeling saudades and you can end the sentence there estou com saudades in English you cannot say I miss I'm missing 
what? You can say I'm missing it or I'm missing her. So that's the difference, you know? Of course, that having words that are difficult to translate doesn't make any language better than the other. All of the languages around the world has their uniqueness, their beauty. So let's appreciate them, learn and respect all of the languages, okay? If you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. So that's it for now. Take care and see ya.